So welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we have the Three Brothers One Piece Ultimate Deck. So what we're doing today is we're going to open up one of them to see uh, what we get in them. There's uh, special packs in this, like in ST-010, but this time instead of the three captains, it's the three brothers. Your boy Luffy, Ace, and Sabo. Ace best boy. <coughs> um, but they're giving us a little something extra in this pack, so we're going to get a special pack. So, uh, for this one, we're doing something special. What we've done is we've opened an entire display, so six boxes of the ultimate deck to see if we can get at least one of every ink art from the deck. All right, let's get started. So, as you can see, we've opened up a whole display, so let's Open up one first and see what cards are in there. So ultimate decks, they're pretty good because normally they are meta defining and also come with cards that have never been printed before. And the best thing about them is you get three different leaders. In this case, like I said, it's a Ace, Sabo, and Luffy. Uh, it, they're as far as I know, they're all dual colored, and you also get a deck box to keep them in. So packaged just like how they are before, you get the box, you get the play mat, and then you get the deck box, and inside the deck box is the deck. So the deck box is Luffy at the front, Ace on the side, Sabo on the other side, and the One Piece logo on the back, and you open it up, and inside you get your filler, don't need that, and then you get your special pack, so as you can see it's a bonus pack with three cards in it, uh, these are the ink arts and every single, there are 16 types you can get in total, so if we get three and we get six, that's three, six, nine, eighteen, let's see if we can get at least one of each, let's see, I'll put that off to the side for now because the main event is the deck, so, and then the deck box, you have your divider, which is pretty cool, and these deck boxes, like ST10 and the gift collection, they're pretty high quality for what they are, just a free deck box in the purchase of the product. So, let's get to the deck. I'll go through each card's effect a bit later, first we'll go through the different leaders. So we have Sabo here. So Sabo's ability is, done times one, activate main once per turn. You may add one of your characters with a cost of three or more and 7,000 power or more to the top of your life cards face up. Uh, that's, that's all the cost. That's all the cost, right? Up to one of your characters gain plus 2,000 power until the start of your next turn. So that's Sabo's ability. Red, yellow. Then we have Ace here, so Don times two, activate main once per turn. Look at five cards from the top of your deck and add up to one character card with a cost of five to the top of your life cards face up. Then place the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order. End of your turn, trash all your face up life cards. Blue, yellow, four life leader. And then we have Luffy. So Luffy's ability uh, is Don times two, Activate main once per turn. You may trash one card from your hand. If you have zero car life cards, add up to two character cards with a cost of five from your hand or trash to the top of your life cards face up. This is a black and yellow leader. So you can see they all have something to do with uh, putting cards in your life like yellow does, and then they all have their own little spin on it as well. Now, to the deck itself, we have Two Sabos, so one and two. Sabo's ability is a on play, you may trash one card from the top or bottom of your life cards, KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of five or less. Five thousand uh oh five cost, six thousand power, one thousand counter. Pretty good. Here we have ace. So ace is a five cost, seven thousand, so vanilla stats, we like that. Uh, and his ability is, on play, if you have two or less life cards, this card gains rush. No counter though. 
So that is the downside of being a vanilla studded ability character. Here we have Monkey D Garp. Now Garp is a 1 cost 2k, 1k, uh, 1K counter. And with these stat lines, you can probably guess it's a searcher. So on play, look at five cards from the top of your deck. Reveal up to one Sabo, Ace, or Luffy with a cost of five or less and add it to your hand. Then place the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. So you get one, two, two of them. So all, all the cards so far are SR rarity. Next, we have Monkey D. Luffy, a five cost, 6k power um, character with 1k counter. And its ability is activate main once per turn. This character gains 2000 power until the start of your next turn. Then, if you have one or more life cards, draw one card and trash one card from the top of your life cards. So you always have to have that at least one life card to get the draw ability, but you can always activate the plus 2k ability. And it's got a 1k counter. Insane card. Here we have uh, Ivankov. So this is a 3 cost 4k power character with a um, 1k counter and it's a blocker and its ability says on play you may trash one card from the top or bottom of your life cards. Reveal up to one character card with a cost of 5 from your hand and add it to the top of your life cards face down. Not bad for reducing life or stacking a life. For cards we will see later. We get two Ivankovs and then we have Edward Newgate. 6 cost 7k power card, 1k counter, that says on play, add one card from the top of your deck to the top of your life, then look at all your life cards, place one card on top of your deck, place one card at the top of your deck, and place the rest back in your life in any order. So he lets you look at your life and reorder it while also basically healing you a more ideal card. Not bad. So you get one, two, three, Four new gates. Here we have Curly Dadan, a five cost, 4k character, 1k counter, which is also a blocker that says, on play, play up to one of each Sabo, Ace, and Luffy with a cost of two from your hand. So if you're on five Don, and you have four cards, and your curve is perfect, you can slap this down on five Don, bring all of them out, use their abilities if you've already stacked your life, bam, 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 now you've got an 11k leader, a rush, swing, a blocker, because uh, we'll play a Black Sabo if we're playing the Luffy. Um, if not, a pop, you know, a pop, a swing, and then a draw one if you want with a blocker. It's, it's, it's pretty strong if you can make it happen. But they got to be from your hand. Said from your trash as well, or played, played in every yellow deck that would be broken. Well, every yellow deck that focuses on these brothers. Speaking of which, here are the brothers. So we have Sabo. Sabo. Um, that says, uh, it's a 2 cost, 2k power, uh, 1k counter. Uh, they're never going to stay on the board though, so that's okay. Because uh, all of the brothers have the same ability, uh, just uh, with their different names. So Sabo's one is, activate main, you may trash this character. That's all cost. Reveal one card from the top of your life cards. Um, if that card is a Sabo with a cost of 5, you may play that card. And if you do... Up to one of your leaders gain 2,000 power until the end of your opponent's next turn. So that's Sabo. You get four of him. Uh, here, here comes the Shanks. So Shanks is a 7-7, seven, seven, uh, no counter, and its ability is on play, you may turn one of your face-up life cards face down. If you're, That's the cost. Um, if your opponent has seven or more cards in their hand, trash up to one card from the top of your opponent's life cards. So late game, if they have a lot, you can slap this down, put your, your face-up cards face down, get rid of their last life cards, and then go for gold with the, with the characters you have on board. And then they have no life left. It's not bad. Here we have Ace. So Ace is like Sabo. Same stats and everything. 2-2, two, two, 1k counter. Uh, same ability. So you may trash this character, reveal one card from the top of your life. If it's a 5 cost, 5 cost ace, you play that card, and then you, if you did, your leader gets plus 2,000 power until the end of your opponent's next turn. Uh, so Sabo and ace, so far, having that ability, you get 4. And then here we have a Makino. So Makino is a 1-0 with a 2k counter that says on play, 
You may add one card from the top or bottom of your life to your hand. That's all cost. Uh, look at all your life cards and place them back in your life area in any order. So basically, you can look at your life to stack triggers, to prepare your, uh, prepare your, your life for any abilities that you want to use. So your life is a secondary resource. And if you've already used the ability or don't want to use the ability, she's a 2k counter. It's very strong. Next, we have Monkey D. Luffy. So just like the little Ace and Sabo, this little Luffy has the, is a 2 cost 2k power, 1k counter, and has the ability Activate Main. Trash this character. Cost. Reveal one card from the top of your life cards. If it is a 5 cost Monkey D. Luffy character, you may play that card. And if you do, your leader gets plus 2,000 power until the end of your opponent's next turn. So, now that we've gone through all the baby brothers, you can start to see what this deck is designed to do. You're, you're designed to manipulate your life, and then use your baby brothers to bring out the older versions of themselves, boosting your leader up by a minimum of 2k if you succeed in that ability, and up to 6k either going from a 5k, uh, either going from a 5k leader to either a 7k, a 9k, or an 11k leader. So pretty, pretty strong. Next we have Yamato. So Yamato is a 5 cost 4k with stat line, but it's got 2k counter, so it's pretty good. Uh, and it also just has rush, so that's not bad. And it has on play, look at all your life cards. Place one at the top of your deck and place the rest back in your life in any order. So uh, you can see that this card is uh, designed to maybe go in a Yamato deck um, so that you can manipulate your life. But also if you put it in red, yellow, her 4,000 power uh, isn't so much a detriment because you can just attach two of your used on that you used to summon her onto her using Yamato's ability. So here we have the events. Uh, this is a two cost event counter, the Flame Dragon King. Uh, it's, a, it's the two cost counter, so it's a 4k counter um, that says up to one of your leader or character cards gains plus 4,000 power during this battle, which means that uh, it will have its own special secondary ability based on the gimmick of the color that it is. And this one is, uh, then look at all your life cards and place them back in your life in any order. So it helps you manipulate your life again while surviving. It's a Dress Roshan Revolutionary Army card. So, you know, it goes well in your Bello Betty and also in your Sabo. Uh, and then it's got a trigger that says you may add one card from the top or bottom of your life cards to your hand. And then add one card from your hand to the top or bottom of your life cards. So you can uh, manipulate your life that way as well. And you get one, two, two of those events. The next card is a one cost event. Gum Gum Jet Spear. It's a Punk Hazard and a Straw Hat Crew card. So this is also a counter, a 1 cost 2k counter, that says up to one of your leader or characters gains plus 2,000 power during this battle. Then, if you have zero life cards, draw one card. Uh, it also has a trigger that says you may add one card from the top or bottom of your life cards to your hand, add up to one card from your hand to your life cards. So again, manipulating your life. And then next, we have the Three Brothers Bond. This is a one cost event. That's your searcher event. So during your main, look at five cards from the top of your deck, reveal up to one Sabo, Ace, or Luffy with a cost of five or less and add it to your hand. Then place the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order. So this is basically Garp in event form and you do get four of them. And then you get your 10 holographic Don cards with this as well. That's, uh, that is the deck, but we also have some special cards that come with it that make it a bit more exciting to buy the product, which is this. But as you can see, there were some cards in the deck that you could only get two of, which means if you want a play set of those cards, you need two of the deck. And what do I always say to people coming in to buy decks? If you can, buy at least two because you need them. For the foreseeable future, Bandai doesn't usually reprint any of these cards, and if they do, it's in a tournament or event pack, so it's a higher rarity or a judge pack. So you're better off trying your best to get your hands on it upon release, because it's very hard to get your hands on these cards after release. So if you can, my advice, buy the deck. Buy it. Like, 
like the, the today's question should you buy this deck is not even a question it's a no-brainer of course buy the deck it's going to shape the meta it's great buy two if you can but today's real question is can we get every ink card that is printed in the deck within these special card packs but first let's see who we get in number one now I really want to play Luffy, so here's hoping for at least a Luffy ink. Oh, these are terrible to open. Ah, there we go. All right, <laughs> spoiler already at the beginning, we have one Shanks ink card. Look at how pretty they are. And then we have, yes, an ace ink card. And our last card, oh, it's a leader. Look at that, it's a leader. Come on, Luffy. Sabo ink card. All right. Now let's time lapse and get the rest out and we can see who else we get. All right, so we've done that. We got a Sabo, a Shanks, and a Ace, I think it was, in the last one. A Sabo, an Ace, and a Shanks. So let's hope. I want a Luffy. I really want a Luffy. All right, next. Oh! Ivankov. I mean, I said I wanted a Luffy, but I want the leader Luffy. I want the leader Luffy. And an ace. An ace is good. I like the ace, yes. Oh, his texturing so nice too. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but look at that. He's got like texturing around the flames. Very, very cool. All right, next. I want a Luffy. Makino is good. I'll take a Makino. Yes. Yamato is good. I like Yamato. Yes. Yes. Luffy Inc. We got it. All right. We're done. Wrap up. We're done here. Nah, just joking. I got to answer the question. Do we get one of each? So far, we've got one of each. It's pretty good. Oh, baby A. Oh, baby Sabo, sorry. Yes, another Makino, so that's our first double up. And then another Luffy. Nice, nice, nice. Next. Oh, a Garp. Nice, 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 nice. All right. And then a Sabo. And then a Luffy. Nice. Last pack. So... We don't have one of everyone yet. And I don't think we can get one of everyone in here. Oh, white beard. Nice, nice. Oh, baby ace. That's two baby aces. Nice. Oh, baby Luffy. I think this is our first baby Luffy. So, we got one leader Sabo. We got one leader Luffy. We got Two leader Luffy's. We got, let's go to here. We got a baby Luffy. Another baby Luffy, which is good. A baby ace. A second baby ace. A baby Sabo. And those are all the babies we got. Now, 
for their grown-up versions, we have one Luffy, one Sabo, and one Ace. And then now for every other character, we have a double up of Makino, a Monkey D. Garp, one Ivankov, one Yamato, one Newgate, and one Shanks. There are 16 in total you can get. And I am missing one, I think it is. So let's see, let's count. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Which means I'm missing that one eighth leader. All in all, though, I think that a display gives you a good spread. Um, and they do look very nice. The texturing on all the adult brothers is nice. The leaves on the little brothers are good. The, the effect particles on all the other cards are good. And these leaders, these leaders just pop, man. They look so good. Anyway, you will basically be getting one of every uh, alt art if you get a display, which is not bad. But thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what we do here, you know, hit that subscribe button. It'll be very, very useful for us. Um, hit that like button. It tells YouTube that, you know, you like what we do. So keep pushing it out. That'll be super helpful. And visit us at, jo visit us at JoJo's uh, for our locals of One Piece. We run a lot. And we'll see you in the next video.